Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a quick guide on ore processing from Mechanism. Now, Mechanism was released for Minecraft version 1.10 recently, and being a first time Mechanism user, I had to learn all of this firsthand. So, I'm going to spread the knowledge a little bit on how to go through ore doubling, tripling, quadrupling, and quintuplication in a fairly organized and short manner to help streamline my pain for the last hour or so. So as we all know, just using a standard smelter is considered one times or uh, it's not duplication, but it's just one ore equals one ingot. And you do that with the smelting factory and you get your one ingot. Now to double your ore, you're going to need the Elite Enriching Factory. You don't need any special requirements, just power. You put your ore in, turns into two dust, two dust is smelted, and that becomes your ingots. Now, we get into the convoluted steps. To triple your ore, you're going to need an Elite Purifying Factory. The Purifying Factory needs to go into a Crushing Factory, crushing factory doesn't need anything. The purifying factory needs oxygen. To get oxygen, we walk along, follow this pipe to my buffer of oxygen here and here. Why is that empty? I'm not sure. To the electrolytic separator. Now, you put water into the electrolytic separator using one of the pumps or putting buckets in manually and it'll produce hydrogen and oxygen. I'd recommend storing the hydrogen because it's going to be used later. Oxygen, I recommend putting a buffer in between and don't worry about these little weird glitches. That's probably something the mod creator is working on. That oxygen is used in ultimate pressure pipes or pressurized pipes of any kind to be put into the purifying factory. And that's it. Put your ore in, it's tripled, crushed, enriched, smelted, and now we have three ingots being produced per ore. Now, ore quadrupling is only using one extra machine when tripling required the crushing and the purifying. Quadrupling only requires the injecting factory. However, the injecting factory requires hydrogen chloride. Now if we follow my little pipe system over here to the big jumbled mess, hydrogen chloride's coming from here, from this buffer tank, from a chemical infuser. Now the chemical infuser requires hydrogen, which I recommended saving from the previous step from the electrolytic separator, into the chemical infuser from the right, and from the left you need something from the electrolytic separator. Um, I believe it's chloride. Yes, it's going to be chloride, which is a byproduct of putting brine into the electrolytic separator. To generate brine, here's my big buffer tank. It's not rendering properly, I don't think. But you will need thermal evaporation systems. To build one of these systems, you're going to need blocks, valves, a controller, and four advanced solar generators. You start with a 4x4 four four of the thermal blocks. Build a hollow ring like this. And I'm not sure why I'm getting freeze frames. And now you make a ring without corners. It can be quite a few blocks taller than this. You see I have two because I was having trouble producing brine. You put your generators such so. Next we need valves. They can be placed in corner blocks like this. As you can see the ones over here do. These are the ones that are currently working. Recommend or well, you need two valves. One inputs water, the other outputs brine, and there's also another recipe that that's used for, but I'm not using it. And then you need a controller and poof particles. It'll become a multi-block. And 
a whole bunch of numbers and things here. Just know that you need to put water in and it'll output brine. Now if we look at these, you have to use your configurator on pipes. You need to shift right click the like in between bits. That's none, normal, push and pull. You want it on pull to be able to pull the brine out. So I have both those with a push pulling or pushing into the tank. And over here, just several pumps putting water in and the water will fill up and be produced into brine, which will be extracted, put into the buffer tank, through to the, I don't know what that is, electrolytic separator, which will produce chlorine, and that will go into the chemical infuser, which will produce hydrogen chloride along with hydrogen from step three. And that hydro or hydrogen chloride will be used in quintuplication of ore. And that's all of ore quadrupling. Now your ore will be going into the elite injection. That'll be quadrupled, crushed, enriched, smelted, and we have four ingots from a single ore. Oh, I hope you're staying along. <laughs> This is quite the process, but it's it's good. It's good end game stuff, and it was really fun when everything finally worked, and it was a wonderful hoorah moment. Now, to start off with ore quintuplication, you're going to need a chemical dissolution chamber, a chemical washer, and a chemical crystallizer. Put those three right next to each other. The crystallizer will output to the elite injection facility from ore quadrupling. Now, your ores will go into the dissolution chamber. However, that dissolution chamber needs sulfuric acid, which comes from a chemical infuser, which needs water vapor, and I believe it's sulf sulfur dioxide. No, trioxide, that's right. It'll need sulfur trioxide and uh, water vapor, to get water vapor, you need a rotary condensator, which just requires power and water from a pump. Excuse my messy cabling. However, to get sulfur trioxide is a lot more difficult. You're going to need a chemical infuser with oxygen from the, uh, or tripling and doubling, I believe, along with sulfur dioxide, which comes from a chemical oxidizer, uh, which uses a which uses sulfur which comes from the injection factory which comes from gunpowder so if I control middle click that chest put it on there the gunpowder is getting transferred into sulfur dust which becomes sulfur dioxide which becomes sulfur trioxide which gets put into the chemical infuser which becomes sulfuric acid which oh we can finally use in our chemical dissolution chamber. If I put one ore in, it'll zip along very quickly because I have every machine upgraded. As you can see now, it's over here, pushing through these machines. And five ingots for one ore. And that is a small, very not specific coverage of the ore processing from mechanism that mechanism has to offer there are tons of nuances to be known um, such as pushing and pulling and pipes and the fact that if gas pipes connect they sort of break entirely and you have to break all the pipes and start over and it's just a complete hassle but that said it's a fantastic it's it's a fantastic feeling when I can sit here and put tons of ore in and just watch the machines go. And, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope you guys have had a wonderful day learning. And uh, I'll see you next time.